Hello. How are you, Miss Liz? Hey, keys. I'm doing good. Hey, hey. Hey, red apple gold. Hey, Terry Joe. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Make sure you're sharing this on your on your page. Do a share. And then um, we can get into it. We only got five people. That's okay. We gonna roll with the five, Jesus. Amen. Okay, so um, the Lord has really been speaking to me specifically about shift. And as y'all know, I'm on Instagram finally. Um, I was totally, I was not trying to get on Instagram before, but I'm on Instagram um, now. And um, um, if you if you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. Um, it's at Apostle Martina. Amen. So listen up. Um, Lord was really speaking to me specifically about shifting power and um about words that are totally um words that fall to the ground or words that shift and i'll give you an example i was i was on the phone really 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 early this morning and i was talking to um, a person that was really speaking some life to me and they helped get me focused if you watch instagram i talked about getting you um a focus keeper um, and that's somebody that uh, promises to keep you focused. And so I was talking to them and they were saying something that was really clicking in my spirit that was having me get back to focus. And I don't know if you ever had these experiences where you've received, hi Shoe Chic, you received a lot of word over maybe the past few years about something specific and you haven't seen any fruit of that specific thing but you know the word is coming forth you even feel a stirring about it coming but you do not see anything on surface level and so you start to kind of drag your feet on what God has told you to do you start to kind of drag your feet thinking that you know maybe it's going to happen later and you've waited five years five four years three years or whatever you've heard this word to the point where when if another prophet comes to you and give you this word in your spirit you're gonna be like yeah 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 you know you know you have that word like mm -hmm. i've heard that before waiting for the change where you know but honestly god is waiting on you and god is waiting on us and i talk about getting positioned a lot in the ministry i talk about getting your heart positioned your mind everything positioned but even i fall off and sometimes we fall off and we don't know we fell off because maybe we're uh you know focusing on something else and so um here i am thinking that okay lord i'm i'm i was hitting this moment cuz as you guys know you know i have some health challenges and um i've been recuperating so i'm not moving at the speed that i'm used to moving and things like that nature so it's frustrating and i was just kind of sitting in that frustrated moment like i don't like being still unless god tells me like you're in a season of prayer or something like that then i'm moving in the spirit even though my body is still but i don't like being still so i'm like what well you know what am I to do? It's just everything is kind of like maintaining. And so I started feeling, you know, like, well, what's next? How do I get to the next phase? What what am I supposed to do? What, you know, what's that what factor? And so um, um, I began to speak to this person and everything they were saying was resonating in my spirit about what I'm supposed to do prophetically about the season that I'm in, what I'm supposed to do moving forward everything it was just like all completely 
you know, falling in line. And then I realized, oh, I'm late. <laughs> God's ready to move, but I'm late. You know, because maybe even some little things, the sign, tying up the loose ends is really, really important when you're trying to shift. Hi, Pastor Jill. You know, um, and that there's little things, even if it's like 10% or 5% of what God wants you to do. If you're just not at 100% and God wants you at 100% before he does this total shift, because maybe this total shift will literally change your whole life and everything's connected to you and you just can't be at 95%. You can't be at 90%. You have to be on all cylinders a full 100% because he doesn't want any part of you left behind. He doesn't want anything that he needs to use to be left behind. So he's waiting for you to upload. He's waiting for you to upload completely so that what he can do in your life will render. I remember when YouTube first came out like a few years it would take like days almost to upload i don't know if you remember but i would put in like maybe a 15 10 remember when youtube used to be like 10 minute videos and i would put like a 10 minute video up and it would take like 10 hours to upload 10 minutes and um i remember that and it would you could not you know you could not even play it or watch it until a hundred percent had been uploaded and then it said rendered and then it was ready to be viewed and now I'm understanding and this is fresh off the presses because God is showing me this today that I'm understanding that some things that God wants to do to present you to your next level something that's going to require people to view you to present you you can't be at 95% because you're not done he can't render 95% of you it will ruin the presentation the 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 vision will be grainy um, it will not be at the megapixels that is necessary for people to get the full throttle, full throttle of what they're trying to see in you simply because he wants them to see what he's doing in you in HD. And if they can't see it in HD, they can't see it in Dolby. You know what I'm saying? If he, if they can't, you know what I'm saying? If they can't hear it in Dolby, if they can't see it in HD, you know, then he doesn't want it at all presented whatsoever is not going to be no 108 megapixels it's not you know what i mean it's not going to be no 1080 megapixels you know it's not going to be nothing like that he's going to be like well it's not it's not going to happen it's not going to happen you're just going to stay right there and be at the uploading stage until you are ready to be seen and so this is what god is saying and so i've realized that there's certain areas of my life that I've been on 90% uploading and I've just been staying there and staying there and staying there and staying there <laughs> thinking that 90% was okay and 90% is not okay. He wants me at 100 so that I can get to this next level. And so perhaps just maybe some of you who have been receiving some word, maybe it's not all spiritual warfare perhaps it's not all of that maybe it's you maybe you've gotten comfortable where you are maybe you you've gotten you know 90% is still an A you know what I mean so maybe you're still successful at 90% and perhaps you know you feel like well I'm just waiting on God but God says no 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 I care about the 10% I care about the 5%. I care about the 2% because it all matters. Every little piece of it matters when he is literally shifting your life and manifesting that great thing, not the small little things. I'm talking about the great miracle that will literally set your life and birth out that legacy, that thing that will shift you 
to the point where people will not recognize you when that shift happens and that it will happen so quick that it will almost change your personality. I'm just talking like I'm talking. It will almost build an automatic overnight confidence that you didn't even know in yourself was there, that it will literally bring out the inner voice, the one that's in your head that you ain't never had consciousness to even say out your mouth, that type of of confidence that you just wish you other people can see, but you too afraid for people to know that part, that part, the, the visions in your head, the stuff that you wish you used to, could I do used to do it maybe 10 years or maybe I'm too old to do it. Or I missed it. That person, he's literally bringing that inside out in that next position. And so when you get you a focus keeper that is in tune with the spirit of God for your life in that moment, they will tell you something that is not even that deep, but it will ignite. It'll be like that word, a command, something that will ignite and that will bring forth an entrance that will cause things to move and to shift. It's almost like how, um, if you ever gone into, um, if you ever were going into um, a, a like a kind of like a semi security kind of an area and you had to either wave your badge or press a button and if you press the button you had to say the right thing in order to get through and because not people can get through it and you might know might not know what that word mean or what the codes on that badge is but you got it and so you might have someone in your life that might not know what they're saying and how important it is and they may not know what that word means to you but you know that that word caused an entrance in the spirit realm that immediately opened up a door inside of you that has been locked simply because the right word has not been spoken in your life and it don't have to be a hundred a hundred words or less it don't have to be you know a, a long dissertation it could have been said the lord you know the lord said yes and because that was the word yes that you needed that that opened up something that was locked up in you <laughs> It was locked and now you're able to have entrance in the spirit realm. You're able to have entrance in what God has for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. And so it was that shift, that push that you needed. So now you can't leave where it is that God just put you because now what has been promised over your life for the last five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years has now been physically evident. Somebody better shout right now with me. Now it's real. Now it's not just uh, maybe God is going to do it. But now you begin to start thinking like the person you're supposed to think like. Now your conversation just switched to well, maybe, or I pray it happens to, I know it happens. Now you start packing your bag because you know you're going somewhere. Now you start packing your stuff because you know your house coming. Now you start positioning yourself. Come on, somebody. I'm preaching to myself. And you start positioning yourself for God to just move so heavily. Thank you, Jesus, so heavily in your life because something unlocked in you. Because God used somebody to travel to you to give you a word to unlock into your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so I want to make sure that you guys are encouraged because if you can just get your mind there and you can get your spirit there, if you can get focused, don't lose that heart, that passion, that prophetic word. Don't lose it. Don't lose it because God wants to shift you here. Sometimes we can't move like God wants us to move because we don't really believe it. We think that we're not qualified or we think that uh, some of us are stuck in the dream mode. That we are only comfortable dreaming about it. So we think, oh, this is something I'm going to do. But we procrastinate in the spirit realm. 
And we stay right there hoping that one day we will wake up and be on fire and move. But what God is saying is you need to have someone unstick you. There's got to be a command that is already in your DNA that will shift your situation. And don't forget just because you happy on Tuesday, don't get all sad on Wednesday because something's been unlocked. So don't try to pretend like something, you know, wasn't unlocked in you because you've got to get ready. you got to get ready now because now the only thing Thing is left is manifestation there is everything else is in place there is nothing else left for you to do but to sit there and prepare that's that's it that's that's all because literally when you are past those doors the manifestation is so easy the preparation literally comes to you because you already know what you're supposed to get you already know how you're supposed to prepare you don't have to labor and pray and fast in this particular season because it's just automatically here he will automatically send the people to help you put it together it's going to come easy to you it's not going to be hard and it's going to happen so fast and it's going to be so exciting Exciting because God is literally putting you on to a hundred so that you can move and do what God has called you to do at the level of the presentation that he wants you because he's setting you up so that you can bless others. That's the whole thing. Even though you're going to get the kit and caboodle, but the kit and caboodle is really a stage so that you can show other people how they're supposed to get that kit and caboodle. You know what I'm saying? So I'm telling you this because this is not just a blessing that happened to me. that whoever this is for and I know it was a word for me but whoever it was for on here that you will be blessed and moved and you will allow God to send a word that has shifting power a word that will change the way you think that will bring that confidence that you've been hiding out. That will allow you to look in the mirror and see what he sees. And not see what flesh sees. Because flesh will see a whole bunch of stuff. But spirit will see what God sees. Spirit will see potential when flesh sees failure. Come on somebody. So when you look in the mirror and you think about all the opportunities that you missed out on and all the things and that you feel like it, it just didn't go right, we bind that in, in Jesus' name because when God sees you, he sees potential. As long as you breathe in, then there is a potential for God to grow something amazing in you. So it's time. It's time to walk past and through those double doors, it's it's time to shift. I pray that something I said today had shifting power to get you where you need to be in your life. And, and I pray that you say something that will have shifting power in the name of Jesus. And so I'm encouraged and I'm changed and I'm on fire and I'm set free. And I pray that you have all those things and more today in the name of Jesus. So when you get off this scope, I expect folks to be packing bags. I'm expecting people to start doing some stuff in faith that you're supposed to have. Business plans need to start getting written this weekend. Uh, I expect you need to make connections, show up at places you're supposed to be showing up at. Whatever you need to do, start walking in wherever it is God has called you to walk in. Find a way, even if it's not an easy way, just do what you need to do because it's time. It is time. And this is what God wants us to know. So, Whatever you need to do, do what you got to do. God's going to help you. 
Because it's for you. He ain't going to leave you out there. If it's for you, he going to make it easy. It's, it's for you. And it's going to be blessed. So I just thank God. And I declare in the name of Jesus that this word is sealed. Holy Ghost power and the blood of Jesus. That this word is even veiled. So that those who would not appreciate that word can't throw salt or damaging word or interference or anyone who needed this word that wanted to move forth in this word that truly this is a word protected in the name of Jesus that people who receive that word it stays received that doesn't uproot that people are able to be officially unlocked and able to be in that next dimension and excited about what God is going to do this word is on time for me and I pray it's for you and those of you who are saying you know amens and all that good stuff God bless you um, I'm thankful I'm rejoicing with you I'm very happy and and um, it is a divine release it is I love you too <laughs> amen and um, someone said they needed this word and I just want to say praise the Lord uh, for that too so yeah that's it <laughs> I think that's past five minutes but that's the word for today so walk in your shift alright y'all God bless you I love you you pray for me I pray for you and uh, let's do this oh that is so sweet Thank you. <laughs> I received that. Amen. I received that totally. Bless you too, Cherry Joe. Amen. Oh, love you too, Pastor. Amen. I enjoyed it too. Shoot, I got my cry on too. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yes. All right, you guys, I'm about to bounce. I love y'all. Making an amazing day. And follow me on Instagram too. God bless y'all. Peace.